Hi everyone! Otomani Ayo! It's been a really long time. I'm currently in my mom's house in Florida right now. So, mom's living room. <laughs> I have done nothing but binge K dramas. <laughs> and I realized it has been such a long time since I've done a K drama review. This month, I've really gone super deep in the GG Nicole. Healer is one of my top favorite K-dramas of all time. And I just finished Suspicious Partner, and so I saw his new one, Backstreet Rookie, which I was like... I usually wait until most of the series is out before I start to watch, so I don't have another Crash Landing on You episode where I have to wait each week, which absolutely kills me. But I partnered with Aichi on this review, so you can catch up and we can watch it together. Also, you can be one of the first to watch this drama on Aichi's app or website, as it is exclusively streamed globally on Aichi in multiple language subtitles. So I was immediately drawn to the show because of the actors. I've never actually seen the lead actress before, Kim Yoo Jung, but I had a girl crush from episode one. She is so cool and beautiful, and I just love seeing the strong female leads. And of course, you know, Ji Chang Wook is like my top two favorite actors forever. So, this show <laughs> is about the super handsome, gorgeous, sweet, sensitive convenience store owner, Dae Hyun. After working himself to death, basically, day shifts, night shifts, in a row, no sleep, he decides it is time to hire a part-timer to help him run his convenience store. And he reluctantly hires the troublemaker, Set Yol. He can't stand her, but he's also kind of obsessed with her. <laughs> Wait, okay, we have to go back. So three years earlier, they first crossed paths when she is in high school and he just got dumped on a date. So he was in a terrible mood and ran into her and her friends. She was with her friends, causing trouble, trying to get him to buy them some products that they were too young to purchase themselves. And he scolded her and got onto her and it was the first time she felt like someone was looking out for her and not wanting anything in return. And so she kind of fell for him. She became a little obsessed, but she gave him a kiss, which I know is a little controversial. He was definitely freaked out and was like, oh, what is happening? She decided she had to see him again. So back to present day, she starts working part-time at his store so she can see him. It definitely causes problems with his girlfriend. but his cells spike through the roof. And so it's kind of like, what do you do? Now he's kind of getting a little obsessed with her. He's like always checking in on her. He's like leaving his dates with his girlfriend because he thinks like she's done something or she's in trouble. Like he's always suspicious of her, but kind of obsessed, you know? I wish he could just be honest with himself. But then <laughs> this love triangle gets super interesting when a handsome celebrity friend of hers enters the picture. And man, does this give me second lead syndrome so bad. We're not even halfway through the series, so I'm gonna give Ji Chang Wook's character a little more time to deserve her, but right now, I want her to just run off with Kang Ha Ji because he is precious. This series has 16 episodes, and I'm only about to start episode eight, so we're only halfway through, a lot can happen, but I'm gonna give my ratings so far. Let's dive in. The plot. It's like Strong Girl Bonsoon meets a goofier Itawan class, but it's not heavy at all. It's very funny, it's very light, super bingeable. I think the show is very unique with its pacing and editing. It's based off the webtoon convenience store Set Bial. It definitely has that comic book special effects with the editing and during the action scenes. I love that this show doesn't use the usual tropes, like Ji Chang Wook's character is very different from usual. He's playing the like weak, sensitive, shy guy, and she's playing the strong, tough girl who gets stuff done. She's flawed and misunderstood, but so is he. I also really like her sister's side story of her trying to become an idol and Sep Bial being against it. And Sep Bial's best friend is trying to graduate high school as an older woman. It's just, it's unique, it's interesting. I haven't seen it before. Okay, chemistry. The overall cast chemistry is amazing. All of the actors are top notch, but beyond that, the chemistry is just very, very strong. I mean, Ji Chang Wook can have chemistry with a wall. 
but I really think it's very balanced in this show. In real life, there is a larger age gap between the two actors, but I think Ji Cheng Wook is playing a little immature and Kim Yu Jung is very mature in this role. So I think it's balanced on screen. I think it works for the show and I love her as this character. Also, Daehyun's mom and Set Bial are so cute together. I really, really love their scenes. It's also hilarious to me that like the mom has to deal with this dad who's constantly running after another woman and you just see her as the competent one and then Set Pial's kind of doing the same thing with Daehyun like he's obsessed with this girl who it's clearly not gonna work with you know like they're just not right for each other once he gets her like he would not be happy in that relationship and so it's kind of so cute and interesting to see like the mother and set be all bonding like this when they're kind of in very similar situations. Okay, feels. Aww. This show is extremely lighthearted, which is nice to watch after like a long day or if you've been having a bad day. It just really kind of lifts my mood. For the most part, it's very low key, but I did tear up when her family history, her past, when his mom washes her hair for some reason that scene really got me it was so sweet i really really love the lessons in the show about judging other people based on how they look or their background people assume she's a troublemaker because she doesn't have parents and she's raising her sister alone but that's not who she is at all and you get to see Daehyun, his actual background. He was working as a PR guy and he was looked down upon because he went to a community college. He was tired of being mistreated so he quit and opened this convenience store. And then you see him consistently do the same thing to Set Bial. So I think this is just a really good learning experience for him and it's really refreshing to see. Overall rating. So far, I'm gonna give it like an 8.2 out of 10. At the beginning, this is a slice of life show, relationships and family issues story, but I have a feeling there's a lot more coming. So I'm excited to see how the plot develops. I do not like how they portray his best friend. I think the jokes missed the mark. As this show goes on, I'm hoping to see them also include his character in the overall theme of not judging a book by its cover and just the overall growth of getting to know people and realizing that we're all similar and we're just trying to do the best we can. I am patiently waiting for the next episode, but let me just go on a quick rant. This love triangle is so, so, so frustrating and it's still going on. He clearly is not meant to be with his girlfriend. He's just not comfortable around her. She's kind of embarrassed of him. Ugh. The scene when the three of them go out to dinner. Bruh. It's just like so obvious that she isn't right for him and that he and Set Bial are cut from the same cloth. They're like very similar people. And yeah, opposites do attract sometimes, but like, when it comes to comfort, are you comfortable with someone? Can you be yourself around that person? Or are you trying to be someone you're not just to get their approval and to feel like you fit in with them? Like, that is not a good relationship. They just have the most dysfunctional relationship. I don't understand why they're still together. It's very, 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 very frustrating. <laughs> We know he kind of has a thing for Sepial, and he always goes running for her as soon as she's in trouble, but when he's with her, he's kind of mean and rude and he's just suspicious of her. Maybe he's doing this because he's worried he's gonna get in trouble with his girlfriend and he doesn't want her to leave him, but it's just a little too much. Like, figure it out or you just don't deserve her. And then of course she's got Kanga Ji, her cute little puppy who is so precious and deserving of her and he brings her flowers and takes care of her and I think he would be an incredible match. So don't mess this up, Daehyun. <laughs> Go figure stuff out. But okay, there are eight more episodes, so maybe Daehyun will change my mind. I will patiently wait and see what happens. I mean, she can't really go wrong either way, right? <laughs> Shouldn't be too hard. You can watch Backstreet Rookie on iChi's website and their mobile app. I watch it on the app and just screen share it to my TV. 
very convenient. The link and more is in the description below if you're interested. I also think it's probably about time that I do my full list of favorite K-dramas. What do you think? Thanks for watching and I will see you soon. Annyeong! <laughs>